Okay, um, let's do a quick video that demonstrates the use of folders when generating G-code in Inkscape. Now first of all, let's have a look at where we would like the folder to be. I could put it on the desktop and make a folder underneath desktop for example. Over here, one of these sort of things. But i uh, tell you what, I'm going to put it on my F drive and I've got one called data bucket that I put everything inside of but I'm not going to put it in that folder I'm going to put it on the top level of that and make a new folder and call it test G code there's my folder now I'm going to copy this path of this folder and place that in the appropriate place in the Inkscape application so first of all we double click on this folder to go into it and then right click on the address bar up here just to the right of the address and it will highlight the actual windows path to that exact folder now you can then do control C to copy or right click and copy that is now on the clipboard. Now we will start Inkscape and do a quick generation of some g-code. Drop this into here. There's my G code. So there's my test oh, no, my text. I'm going to turn it to G code and what we will do is first of all we will go into extensions and do the important job of adding orientation points the sheet we accept the default settings here and then we say OK and say close and here we see the orientation points I'm just going to scale these down so that this would fit on roughly 100 millimeters square you see 100 millimeters from there to there so that must be about 100 millimeters from there to there so that would be about 100 millimeters square so now we have orientation points now we would wish to generate some g-code we would select that and do the usual things object to path and then go into the g-code tools and do the path to g-code now here is where we put the path that we had before it needs to go into here that's my old directory so let's paste it in there we go test G code that's from here remember we made the folder earlier on there it is we pasted that into there now here is the file name that it will call it the output file Pete's <laughs> Pert's Pete's test G code and then it will put put a number before the period before the full stop because we've got add numeric suffix to file name there so if I press apply then we are very nearly there except we have to be on this tab to generate G code and so we will do that it gives us the normal warning about no cutting tool which we say OK to and there is the huge and then we can do close and there is the huge tool table thing parameter table 
that we are used to seeing and when we look in the folder there is the file generated where we wanted it to be with the name that we that we wanted it to be and the number one if we make a slight variation and do it again we we'll get a new file with not 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 two etc and double clicking on that open it in the editor and there it is there's the file there is its contents there's the G code so I hope that clarifies things a little bit um, there you go